Hello, welcome to the Getting Started tutorial for the Effexio app. Once you download the Effexio app, you can get started adding effect shots to your videos or photos right away. If your app came with a promotional preloaded effect shot, you will see it in your library of effect shots, which you can access by tapping on the button labeled Library. We are in the library now. To buy effect shots, go to the Effexio store by tapping on the button labeled Store. I'll be using an iPad for this tutorial and instructing you to tap on icons, buttons, and effect shots. If you're using a Mac or Windows PC, you will be of course clicking with your mouse instead. Once you're in the store, you will see icons for effect shots you can buy and icons for effect shots you already own. To buy an effect shot, tap its icon. This will open the effect shot subscription page where you can see its price, watch a preview, and look at screenshots. The preview shows you what you will get when you buy the effect shot. To buy an effect shot, just tap the Buy button to buy the standard version or the Buy Pro button to buy the Pro version. Effect shots you've purchased on the Effectio store will show up in your library. Tap on the library icon to see them. To open an effect shot, tap on its icon. I'm going to select the robot breakdance. Most of the time, you can realistically add an effect shot to a video or photo by using only the quick controls which are selected when you first open an effect shot. First, let's open a video. Tap on the video camera icon next to the library button. You can then select whether you want to add the effect shot to a video or to a photo. In this case, we're going to choose to open a video. The app comes with three sample videos that you can use to get an idea of how to add effect shots to videos right away. Otherwise, you have the option of either shooting a video using your device's camera or opening a video you already have in your photo and video library. To show you how to add an effect shot to a video today, I'm going to select sample video number one. This will open the video in the same screen as the effect shot so you can see how the effect shot will look in your video and easily make adjustments so that it looks as if it were really a part of the video. To position the effect shot where you want it, just drag it with your finger. To rotate it, use the rotation trackball. If you want to change its size, use a pinching motion. Pinching in will make it smaller and pinching out will make it larger. If you're using a Mac or Windows PC, the quick controls will include a slider above the rotation trackball that you can drag to change the size. The app gives you the choice of either playing the effect shot animation by itself, the video by itself, or the animation and the video together. To play just the video, select the film icon. To play just the animation, select the dino head icon. To play the animation and video together, select the lock icon. In this case, let's select the lock icon and play the animation and video together. This shows you what your effect shot enhanced video is going to look like when you export it. Because the app is actually drawing the three-dimensional effect, the playback may be a bit slower than normal in the app. But don't worry, because the exported video will be at normal speed. You can pause and reset the video and animation anytime using the pause and reset buttons. To scroll through a video, animation, or video and animation together, drag the time slider. If you need to trim a video, you can do that in the app by tapping the scissors icon. This will open the trimming tool. Trim the beginning or end by moving the yellow bars. We're not going to trim in this case, so I will close the trimming tool. Now I want to show you how to synchronize an effect shot to your video. I've opened the video and the Dragon Steps effect shot. First, let's see what the video and animation look like without synchronization. If you want to synchronize when the person in the video motions for the dragon to come forward and then steps back to when the dragon starts walking forward, you can select the film icon and drag the slider to that frame of the video. Then select the dino head icon and drag the slider to that part of the animation. Now select the lock icon. If you now play the video and animation together, you will see that the video and animation have been synchronized.
Some effect shots come with sound effects. If they do, the sound horn icon will be as bright as the other icons. By default, the sound effect is on when you open an effect shot that has one. If you don't want to include it in your video, tap on the icon and a cross will appear in it indicating it is off. Some effect shots also come with custom controls that let you change things such as the color of objects or the strength of wind or fire. This effect shot comes with a control that lets you change the color of the dragon and also change the amount of fire it breathes. The app includes 3D guides to help you position an effect shot. Tap on the overlapping squares icon to open them. The guides show you how the effect shot is going to move. If you want it to move in a different direction, then you can rotate the effect shot so that it moves where you want it to move. The 3D guides will also show you if and when any part of the effect shot is out of the camera's view. If you don't want it to be out of view, then you can change its position, rotate it, or change its size. To close the 3D guides, tap on the icon again. To export a video, click on the share icon on the far right. Here you also have the option of exporting a photograph. You can choose to create a photo even if you use the video. If you do so, the current frame of the animation will be exported. Today we're going to export a video, but if you're interested in learning more about how to export photos, please watch the Adding Effect Shots to Photos tutorial. First you will be asked if you want to export the video to YouTube, attach it to an email, or save it to your photo library. If you choose to share it on YouTube, you will be prompted to log into your YouTube account. In this case, we're going to choose to save it to our photo library. Next you will be asked whether the video is shot with a handheld video camera or with a video camera on a tripod. Videos shot with a handheld camera have some movement. The app will try to adjust the effect shot to match that movement. Note that it will fail to do so if there is too much movement, so don't pan the camera. There should be as little movement as possible. In this case, the video was shot with a camera on a tripod, so we'll select that option. The app will then go through the exporting process and save it there when it's complete. You can always cancel the exporting process. If you need help while you're using the app, you can open Help Overlays by tapping the question mark icon and choosing Help Overlays. Tapping anywhere on the screen will close them. You can also access an online user guide by tapping the question mark icon and choosing User Guide. I hope this tutorial has been useful. If you want to learn to use the more advanced controls in the app, please watch the Using the Advanced Controls tutorial.